dear out of France. In the WHO European region, an estimated 15 million people live with chronic hepatitis B, and estimated 14 million people are infected with hepatitis C. However, the number of hepatitis B and C cases reported in the WHO European region does not necessarily reflect the full extent of transmission. Because the disease is often asymptomatic and left untreated, chronic hepatitis is the major cause of liver cirrhosis and primary liver cancer. It also means that working on hepatitis reduction and elimination is also a way to fight liver cancer. In addition, we should consider that scientists have identified a unique hepatitis viruses, also the hepatitis A, D, and E. In the European Union, we are following the Europe Beating Cancer Plan, which also includes the reduction of hepatitis B and C cases in order to minimize the cases of liver cancer in Europe. However, people are not only numbers and statistics. Everybody deserves the best care possible and the possibility to access testing and screening program. Late diagnosis and delayed access to treatment are the two most important factors that are associated with the ongoing transmission of hepatitis and preventable related illnesses or death. No one should endure suffering or to be lost to hepatitis and no one country can solve this issue alone. We must therefore band together and strive jointly to secure the year 2030 where hepatitis is eliminated. In ALPA we believe that to eliminate viral hepatitis it is crucial to raise awareness, to prevent mother-to-child transmission, to leave no one behind, to expand access to testing and treatment, and of course to maintain essential viral hepatitis and liver diseases services that were cancelled or slowed down during the COVID-19. Each year on the World Hepatitis Day, we have the opportunity to reflect on how far have we come on the path to eliminate hepatitis globally, but also to think how much more needs to be done in order to achieve this goal by 2030. And remember, together we are stronger.